If you've come along Highway 23, you've probably seen Alexander Park. It's a beautiful observation place for a wide panoramic view of the escarpment. Just an absolutely beautiful place. So come along and see how I captured it in my nightscape today. As you can see from outside here, it's a little bit chillier than when I was here in May, but I wanted to give you a quick rundown of how I go about setting up some of these night shots because back in May, there was an absolutely beautiful clear night and right over top of this, uh, on the other side of the building here is where I was set up. Way over there, the Milky Way was coming up real nice over the edge of the building. So that allowed me to set up my composition, which I'm gonna take you down to right now to show you how that was done. Right here is very close to where my composition was set up with my tripod on my camera. Today I've just got my GoPro going. It is way too cold to be out here doing this, but I wanted to get this done to show you a little bit about how I create these things. So over top of the staircase there is where the Milky Way was rising back in about May or so. Now the previous August I had taken my very first night shot, which you'll see right quickly here. And what you'll notice is that it was one exposure and I was able to pop off a flash, a speed light flash inside of the lookout tower to light that part up. Now that was a good first attempt. However, after learning a little bit more about how my camera works and how the night sky works, I was able to find out a different technique and that involves light painting, which I'm gonna show you here shortly. Now the first part of doing it the second time around was making sure I got the sky exposed properly. And to do that, there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. Number one, you need to get the focus on the stars proper. Now that's done in the live view of the camera and takes a little bit of finessing to get it just right so that the stars are in focus. But after that, after the sky is complete, you really need to turn the focus, literally, towards this building here. And when we do that, I end up using a flashlight so I change the setting on my camera and I end up using a flashlight just like this one right here. And what that does, when I turn it on, just follow me here, I'll set a bunch of different exposures and light up different parts of the building. So as I'm going up, I can get a little bit of the view tower up there, come around the backside, get the staircase, then I'll probably go to another exposure and I'll come around to the front and light up the sides a little bit, the, the front uh, balcony area there. And then I might have even done another one where I came around and would get the uh, view tower from a little bit of the back side. Now I go, I go from the sides to help to get a little bit more contrast in the lighting when it comes to uh, illuminating the building because if you get flat light straight on it's just not very pleasing for the final image. <laughs> 